AITA for leaving after my mom kept joking about my childhood and calling me her practice kid, my, 19M, parents had me young and on accident. My childhood was nothing but money troubles and listening to my parents scream at each other. Things only got better when my mom left my dad and started seeing my stepdad. He brought financial stability and is more of a father to me than my bio dad ever was. They have a daughter together my sister Melody. I'm not blind, I know they shower her with attention and buy her everything they can, because I had nothing when I was her age. When I was younger, it frustrated me to see her loved in a way I never was, but now I know that my mom did her best with the experience and resources she had. It's just bad luck that it worked out the way it did. With that context out of the way, Melody recently turned four and my parents went all out. They invited not only all the family in the area, but also some of Melody's friends from daycare and their parents. Once my mom and the other moms had a few drinks each, they started gossiping. The conversation, which I was not part of but was listening to because I was bored, watching the kids, turned to sharing stories about their kids. My mom, instead of sharing cute stories about Melody, decided to tell a group of random moms about the time I tried to make my parents stop fighting, by collecting change lying around the house and giving it to them, I was seven. She was laughing the whole time and ended the story with ah the things you learn with the oldest, practice kids am I right? Stepdad's name, and I never fight in front of Melody, I think that's why she's so much easier than, my name. That story is a painful memory for me, so I was hurt that she thought it was so hilarious, but I didn't say anything and tried to brush it off. The mom started talking about kindergarten because a few of them have kids who will be starting in the fall. My mom who by then was shitfaced, Decided that it would be a great idea to share the story of how she Karen the school, into letting me do gym class in my winter boots, because that was the one pair of shoes I had. Again, she told the whole story with a grin on her face and laughing. The last thing she said made almost blow up, thank goodness Melody, can have all the shoes she wants, though with how much shit, my name, pulled at that age maybe it was best I didn't waste money on the practice kid. I texted my mom I'm glad you find how poor and miserable we were so funny, but it really upsets me how you clearly think of me as practice for Mel. I'm going so someone should watch the kids. I then left without talking to anyone. When I got home I checked my texts and found a rant from her, saying that they were her stories and she could feel any way she wanted. She called me sensitive for not taking a joke and suggested I get a therapist, I already have one and she knows that, because I was jealous of a four years old. She said I was rude for leaving, update, so, the first thing I did was talk to my stepdad. Contrary to some of y'all's assumptions, I don't live at my parents' house, so I asked him over to breakfast to talk on a day my mom had work but I had off. He knows I usually plan around my mom's work schedule, so I think he knew it was serious beforehand. We sat down over eggs and I told him what had happened. He'd been doing something else at the time, and was absolutely shocked. Apparently, my mom had told him a twisted version of events. According to him, she'd said that I sent her an angry text because of a few harmless jabs and that she was only kidding and didn't mean any harm. She also had conspicuously left out her drunken text to me. His reaction to the actual content of her jokes can only be described as a deep sadness and frustration. He offered me true support and affirmation, something that I could never picture my mom doing in my a million years. My mom can be nice, but she's not great at anything deeper than platitudes. What did I ever do to deserve him, he was also completely blindsided by the fact that there was alcohol at a kid's party. Apparently, he had left the planning to her and had no idea. I told him that I want to go very low contact with my mom for a bit, and asked for his help to see him and Melody without having to deal with her. He said that he understood, and agreed to have me over when she's not around. He told me he would get my mom help with her emotions and her drinking problem, and I told him that she probably wouldn't cooperate and promised to help him get her the help she needs in what ways I can. A half hour after my stepdad left. I texted my mom the following, Hey ma, I've mulled over what happened at Mel's party and I've come to the realization that our relationship is not healthy. You put me down for things that weren't my fault and laugh at how you and, my bio dad, screwed my childhood up. It hurts to hear you speak about me like that, and I don't think you understand exactly how much, I've also come to the understanding that you serving alcohol at a four-year-old's birthday party without even telling dad isn't normal. This isn't a one-time thing, you start drinking at 8am and don't stop until bed. You have two problems, and until you get some serious help with both of them, I would like very little contact with you. Please don't contact me outside of an emergency. I then blocked her from texting me, I know this isn't as dramatic of an update as y'all were hoping for, but I hope that someone can take something from it. I know it's only been a few days, but I have no regrets. Maybe going cold turkey off her was what I needed. 